Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now I've got a really big surprise today, and I'll give a uh, little secret. It came all the way from uh, San Diego, and the top of it says one of the 10 best breweries in the world, cnnmoney.com. And on the back it says, live for the now, the present. You have in your hands a devastatingly fresh double IPA. Freshness is a key component of many beers, especially big hoppy IPAs. But we've taken it further, a lot further with this one. We brewed this IPA specifically not to last. We've gone to extensive lengths to ensure to get, let's see, it says, we've gone to extensive lengths to ensure you get your hands on this beer within an extraordinarily short window. And we've kind of scratched off sent a very clear message in the name of beer itself that there is no better time than right now to enjoy this IPA. So what is it? It is Stone Enjoy by 12 13 13 IPA. It's one pint. It's 9.4% ABV. 9.4% alcohol by volume. And of course it's made by the, uh, it's brewed by the magnificent Stone Brewing Company, and they are located, I think I said San Diego, yep, Stone, I actually, I'm sorry, it is Stone Brewing Company, Escondido, San Diego County, California. So without further ado, let's uh, pop into this. Uh, as I said, I'm not a certified Cicerone yet, uh, so my comments may not be as, uh, as well worded as, as others may be. Um, so let's see. Let me just make sure I didn't get any glass residue on that. Mmm. Uh, you know, really good nose on it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a type nose you would expect from a very well-crafted uh, IPA, which is India Pale Ale. Mmm. Smells wonderful. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the next test is I, is I pull out my the July 30th, 2011 Music City Brewers Festival in Nashville Glass. Great beer fest. We're going to look at the coloration here. Uh, perfectly angled pour, as you can see. Don't want to uh, abuse this beer in any way. Sorry, I had to sit the remainder of the beer down because it's a big bottle. I don't know how well you can see it in this video, but the coloration. I can see uh, I can see my camera through it. It's not really that dark, but it's not light either. Hmm. When it's in that glass, just the nose just opens up even more. You can get those uh, those floral notes that you get in uh, get in that IPA beer. So let's give it a taste test here. Wow. <laughs> I guess the best way to describe this is that if you've had IPAs before, you know, they're, they vary slightly among different breweries, but this one, It's like as soon as it hits your mouth, there's just like an explosion of flavor. And I've never experienced that with an IPA before. I mean, it's just like a literal boom. You know, if it, if it made noise, it would because you can just, you can taste that flavor explosion in your mouth. Mmm. I mean, this is, and that's the thing, these bigger bottles of, uh, of stone, if you can find them, they're they're not they're not cheap, but this is definitely a beer you get for the uh, for the overall effect. It's kind of like going out. I guess a good analogy is that your standard beer, you go out and you uh, you don't even get the good thing at the fast food restaurant. You order out all for the dollar menu, and then you still nickel and dime yourself. <laughs> what this is, this is the exceptional four-star, 
five-star restaurant steakhouse where they bring your steak out and the plate itself is just sizzling and you can hear that steak just still kind of sizzling right there in front of you when, uh, when they put it on the table. And that just adds to the, uh, to the overall effect of it because just like the aroma from that sizzling steak on the hot plate in front of you, this, not just the aroma, but just the flavor explosion in your mouth when you first sip on it and you continue to sip on it. I mean, this is a prime example of what I would classify as being craft beer, exceptionally well-crafted beer. And again, this is from the Stone Brewing Company. And you may have watched my other videos. I did the Levitation and I did the Arrogant Bastard. And I plan to do the Double Bastard as soon as I get my hands on it. So, and anything else that Stone has, because I know they've got a lot of other varieties. So, yeah, this is, has there been anything I've had from Stone yet that I've not enjoyed? No. And like I said, this Music City Brewers Festival in Nashville, I hung out at the Stone Tent quite a bit because their beer, mmm, it was great. But anyway, that's all for this beer. I mean, check it out. <laughs> check it out if you can get it before, let's see, what was it? It said enjoy by 12, 13, 13. That's the name of this one. So if you can't get it by then, you missed out. But you missed out on something exceptional. But you can always re replay this video and imagine that you were drinking it and that you had the experience that I did with it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Share this video with others. Subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irix guy. And y'all have a good day.